morning. I'm here with Gene. Um, just finished out a workout. Was it tough? Eat so so did it? Okay. Awesome. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about nerve glides, and then Gene's going to help me demo some nerve glides, which is awesome. Um, nerve glides are also called nerve flossing. So just kind of like stretching a muscle, we're stretching a nerve. And there's very specific way to go about it, a uh, specific level of intensity that we don't want to go beyond. So I'm going to say that first. And if it hurts, stop. All that fun stuff about go see a healthcare professional, um, consult with somebody to make sure that you can do these pain free. Um, what they can do is help prevent pain. Um, they can even help move you out of pain. So a couple of reasons why we do nerve glides. If there's an injured or inflamed area, the surrounding tissues can sometimes compress or put pressure on a nerve and cause it to be entrapped. That usually increases pain because nerves can be sensitive. So these will help prevent that. Um, so if you have sharp shooting, stabbing, or numbing type sensations, a lot of times that tells us that there's either an entrapped nerve or the nerve is not gliding well in its sheath due to an injury. Sometimes this happens post-surgery. Um, so in general, if you're not having pain, these can be a really good preventative exercise. So we'll incorporate them a um, couple different times. Oh, really good for a warm up before you do an exercise session. Also valuable in a cool down. So Jean's in her cool down phase, so get to do a little bit here. And then if you're just tight, so repetitive movements, or you're starting to feel like my shoulders, my neck, wherever, it could be lower body, low back, maybe you're feeling excessive tension, that could also be a good time um, to do some nerve glides. So, the how, we want to make sure that the intensity is mild. What that means is like 25% of full throttle. So we don't want to go full throttle at all with these. You can over stretch, over glide or over floss a nerve, and that can create the opposite effect of what we're going for here. So we're not trying to create injury, obviously, or damage. We're trying to um, use these as a preventative exercise. So. Um, Jean, let's set up with um, your one arm extended with the fingers open. Really good. And then we're going to kind of press that shoulder down. So it's just keeping the shoulder down and then go head away from that side. Okay. And if you feel that 25%, just mild tension, um, you can start little, just really slow, gradual circling movements through that hand. Still trying to keep it at 25%. And you can go both directions. Awesome. So this is a median nerve glide. Should feel that kind of out down the arm and then out to the middle finger, maybe ring finger as well. Um, good. Then let's do an ulnar one as well. So if you bring your elbow up, elbow out to the side, fingers are open, wrist is extended. Again, press that shoulder down. So shoulder blade's going to settle down and back. And then head can go away again. You can do the fun little wave to increase, decrease tension, and again, keeping it at 25%. Still there? Okay. And then we can circle that elbow. So keeping the wrist extended, reach the fingers back, but still staying gentle with that. Yep. And circling the elbow. Obviously, it would hit both sides here. 